We need to have more accountability, and that goes all the way up all the chain, and we need to start seeing that. And I'm calling upon everybody that's watching this right now, everybody out there that's in the community, everybody that's out there that's a higher up, do your part. An impassioned plea from Pittsburgh police today following a shooting on the city's north side. Three people are dead, one wounded, all because of a fight at a gas station. And two of the victims had nothing to do with the incident, just two women waiting at a bus stop. More on those victims in a moment. First, though, let's go to Chris Hoffman for the latest on the investigation tonight. Chris. Ken, Major Crimes Commander Richard Forrest, as many recent shootings have seen is and people get caught in the crossfire, and this one on the north side was unfortunately no different. In a passionate plea at police headquarters. Is anybody that would just not valid, take any value in that life is not someone that needs to be on our streets. City leaders, including Mayor Ed Ganey and Pittsburgh police, say they've seen enough. I'm tired of seeing mothers crying. I'm tired of seeing people in pain. I'm tired of seeing situations like this. Investigators say Saturday night shooting outside the Sunoco on Cedar Avenue on the north side resulted from a fight in the gas station's parking lot, then escalated to at least two people shooting at each other near Cedar Avenue and Presley Street. Conflict resolution that's going to be resolved with gunfire is going to result in innocent victims like you see in this particular case that lives are cut short for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And police say that's exactly what happened here. Police say they got an initial shot spotter report for 20 shots and then another for seven and all three people were killed, including 33-year-old Jacqueline Mihalik and 59-year-old Betty Averett, both just innocent bystanders. The third person killed, a man who police have still not identified, is believed to be connected to the shooting. A fourth person was also shot but survived. On some senseless shooting over some argument that automatically ended up in gunplay. According to Major Crimes Commander Richard Ford, there was also a shooting on the south side over the weekend that injured a man and it too resulted from an argument ending as a shooting. The lack of respect for life and, and innocent lives that we've seen. Uh, just over the last several weeks, we've had multiple people not involved in the incident struck by gunfire. Police say they have recovered a vehicle in the north side investigation and they've spoken to a person of interest, but at this point, no arrests. And again, the mayor and police are calling on the community to help. They say to get the people off the streets who are committing these crimes, it takes all of us. Live at Pittsburgh Police Headquarters, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.